I think that uh, this, uh, this visit, this study visit, uh, is a real opportunity to, to exchange experiences and best practices um, with Omnia uh, uh, partnerships in Finland, um, as well as with different participating countries. Well, first of all, I'm very excited to be here in Finland today. I'm grateful to ETF uh, to be able to participate uh, uh, in the organized event, and uh, my expectations are pretty high. <laughs> um, first of all, I expect to learn uh, the system, vocational educational system of Finland, and understand how the system works, how the excellency centers are organized. And I'm sure we will have uh, such broader information on uh, peer learning activities and excellence in vocational education systems. Uh, mainly I have been a director of vocational college since 12 years and I would like to uh, improve our skills in administration and education in Turkey by uh, improving our uh, knowledge on different applications in uh, Finnish model. Agrid's the Alto University startup ecosystem. We have 140 different startup companies. We have some key partners here, including the city of Espo. We have the Alto startup centers here, European space agencies in, in the building as well, and a few other ones too. So this is a place where entrepreneurs Startup founders, uh, students, researchers can all sort of like find, like gather around like startup and entrepreneurship. And we've been we've been functioning for about three and a half years, and it's been fun. It's been an interesting ride. We have like all kinds of uh, interesting situations to deal with, like everybody else. But overall, we're now starting to see the growth of companies. Uh, some of our like little guys have grown up, and uh, we're kind of ushering them into the the, the real world now. Uh, away from under under our wing, and it's uh, yeah, it's 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 exciting. It's good. Uh, this is our our strategical framework, and and we, as the rest of the world, I hope, uh, we are heading towards to sustainable future. And our our toolkit for that it, it includes uh, promoting inclusion, skills, well-being of citizens, and also boosting the vitality in this area. But not only in this area or our owner cities, but for whole Finland. And and also we are carrying our our global responsibility uh, as part of this. And uh, I'm happy that you mentioned a word entrepreneurship. And that's uh, that's uh, that's one of the cornerstones, of course. And for us, sustainability, uh, it, it has always four pillars. It's not only about uh, ecological sustainability, but also economical, social, and cultural sustainability. And my goal is to show you some of our uh, work-based learning environments. Yes, uh, welcome to Oske. Oske is short for uh, Omnia Skills Center. Um, here we are like career counselors and next to us uh, we have uh, business coordinators and then again we have um, I suppose uh, cities um, like personal coaches <coughs> in the way. Uh, there uh, on my back you will see our uh, construction department kind of workshop and uh, well Omnia builds houses as student projects, real houses. And this is uh, something quite interesting from my point of view at least. So uh, we really uh, build uh, houses from the zero. Uh, and then uh, in the end, we sell them. Right, thanks. Uh, nice to see you, everybody. Uh, my name is Tikari Mayanpan. I'm a vice principal here at uh, Omnia Vocational College. Been there quite a while. Uh, now it's uh, 24 years going on, so I pretty much know this vocational education in Finland, and that may be, I'm, I'm taking a little bit uh, uh, history uh, perspective of my, my presentation. Yes, today me and Vice Principal Kari Mämpä introduced Omnia and the Finland's vocational system in general. I presented cooperation with the companies and also apprenticeship training and training agreement. 
And we have these uh, service areas, uh, leadership and management, business economics, social and healthcare, especially social and healthcare is very strong here in Omnia. Uh, entrepreneurship, restaurant and catering, uh, cleansing and property services. And it's so a work on. contract. It's a uh, work-based learning, of course, as everywhere else too. And the uh, student gets salary based in the joint labor agreement. But my name is Mika Saarinen. I come from the National <laughs> Finnish National Agency for Education, yeah. <laughs> uh, which is under the Ministry of Education. I'll tell you a little bit about our system, system in a moment. The Finnish National Agency uh, has a major role in the development of VET in Finland. Uh, first of all, it participates in anticipating the skills needs both uh, quantitative and qualitative skills needs and uses that as a basis for the work with the qualification requirements. That, that is the main role of the agency to develop. Uh, but the agency also funds a lot of uh, development work that is happening in the education providers and use, uses that information to feed back into the, the qualifications and, and to the anticipation work on national level. We work very closely with the VET providers in Finland, also with the industry, with the social partners uh, and, and with the teachers, uh, associations and the teachers uh, in the VET, VET colleges uh, and VET, VET institutions. Um, it has been a pleasure to be part of the uh, peer learning activity program organized by ETF. Um, uh, it was um, great to observe um, educational, vocational educational system in Finland. We had an opportunity to meet uh, local providers of vocational education and representatives of the ministry and understand how the system works. Um, most amazing part um, was um, to understand the how the uh, responsibilities are shared between the providers uh, of the education and the uh, private sector and the role of the entities uh, of the ministry um, of the agency um, of the vet provider and the company um, what most struck mo most uh, uh, what was most impressive for me is the uh, vast uh, uh, volume of autonomy that is given to the um, vet institutions I think that the whole Finnish model of education is inspiring and I think that we get a good experience and the opportunity to exchange with different countries and um, with Finland and the most important thing at my sense is um, the maker space where we found uh, the center for startups. Um, I really appreciate it and I would like to uh, to, to go on collaboration with Omnia in this field um, because um, we have an experience that we should improve and I think that uh, the Finnish uh, model is very, very inspiring. I also had the chance to compare the Finnish education model to Turkish uh, education model, especially in vocational education. And uh, it is a, our great pleasure uh, to share our experiences uh, in the past three days. Um, it's, um, it's just showed us how much freedom it gives to the uh, vocational institutions, which eventually reflects in the uh, flexibility uh, of the VET system, which uh, shows and is reflected in the um, uh, workforce, effective, uh, effectively uh, preparing workforce for the um, uh, business and employment. Um, overall, I would say it was a great experience and it gave us a um, significant um, uh, amount of understanding how globally uh, works vocational education.